Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we're going to be solving a puzzle called GG by Philip Newman. This was originally posted in GAS on May 24th, 2024. And this is a thermo Sudoku. So we have regular Sudoku rules. So we're going to place the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each heavily outlined three by three region. And we also have thermometers in the grid. Thermometers tell us that digits have to increase starting at the round bulb and going along to the tip of the thermometer. Common misconception is that the digits along the thermometer have to be consecutive. They actually don't. We could have like one, four, nine there. Um, and that would be perfectly valid because those digits are increasing starting from this end and moving to the other end. So let's go ahead and solve. So the first thing that jumped out at me in this puzzle is these two very long thermometers. These each have eight cells, which means we only have one degree of freedom. If there was a nine cell thermometer, we'd be able to just write it all in. We'd have zero degrees of freedom. With eight cells, we have one degree of freedom, which means the first digit can be one or two, but there's a two here, so we know it's a one. Second one is two or three. Third digit is either three or four, but because there's a four in the region, this is gonna be a three, making this a two. This digit could be either four or five, because again, one degree of freedom, but because there's a four in the region, that's a five. And that actually gives us enough to write in the rest of the digits because now we are maximal. Let's do something similar with this other thermometer. So this is gonna be one or two, two or three, three or four. And then this digit has to be either four or five, but because there's a five in the region and in the row and in the column, <laughs> that's gonna be a four, which because it's minimal, will let us fill in the rest of the thermometer. This can't be a five, so it's a six, making these digits six, seven, eight, nine in that order. Let's see if we can make progress with these little thermometers now. So I'm looking at them and I only actually see three digits that are fully eliminated from these thermometers or from this thermometer. And from this one, I have, okay, for this one, I have a lot more to work with. So I can't use a two, a three, a five, a six, a seven, or a six, an eight, or a nine here. So there are actually six digits that are eliminated from that thermometer, meaning there are only three digits that can still go on it. One, four, and seven. And two, three, and five are going to go in those cells, the remaining open cells in that region. There's a five there, so my five has to go there. There's a two there, so there's my three, there's my two. Now over here, I can't use three, four, or five, and I can't use seven, eight, or nine on this thermometer. So this is gonna have to contain one, two, and six with seven, eight, and nine going into these cells. There are sevens in these columns, so I can eliminate seven there, and my seven goes there. These cells will contain three and four to finish the row. These will contain six, eight, and nine to finish this row, but this one can't be a six, so this is the only place for six in row four. Now these will need to be one, eight, and nine, but because there's a one and a nine here, that's my eight, that's my nine, and that is my one. So we're about to be in a bit of a better position to finish those last couple of short thermos, I think. Let's go ahead and see if we can do a little bit more Sudoku first. So in this column, we need to place a two. It can only go down here. And then our last two digits in that column are going to be three and eight. There's a three up in the top row, so they go that way around. To finish this region, we need four, six, and seven. Six can't go into those cells, so it goes there. And the seven is going to sort that out. The four finally tells us which way around our three, four pair goes there. And let's finish up these columns. So this is gonna be a three and a seven. The seven in this row tells us which way around those go. We need to place a one, it can only go there. And now let's place a nine. Okay, we have a lot more to work with here. So we now can't use one, three, six, or seven here. So what does that leave us with? Let's, let's not even go there yet. So let's actually do even a little bit more Sudoku. There's going to be a lot of Sudoku involved in this puzzle until we can resolve it at the end with these thermometers. So three can't go in those cells. So where do we put three in row two? It can only go there. These are now one, two, and six to finish the row. And there's a one and six there. There's a one there. And then that makes this a one. Now to finish this region, region one, I'm gonna need two, four, five, and nine, and that can't be a two. This also can't be a five because there's a five in the column. That can't be a four. Okay. Now I need to place a seven in row eight and it can only go there, which makes this a six, eight, nine triple. 
Those two cells can't contain my six because of the two sixes there and there, so my six goes right there. Now that's an eight and nine pair, which means these two cells are two and five, and that finally gives us something to work with these thermos on because this can't be a two because it's the end of a three digit long thermo. So that's gonna be my five, that's my two. So now that can't be a one, but we can only go as big as five at the end of this thermo. So that's gonna be two or three, that's gonna be three or four, but there's a three in that column. So that's, that will definitely be a two. And finally, this has to be four, five, or nine, but we have a nine in the row and we have a five in the region. So that's a four, placing a four here. That makes this a three. And my last digit in this column is a one. Now I need to place a five and a six to finish this row. I need to place a four and an eight to finish the region. And these are gonna be five, seven, and nine. That's not a seven, so there's my seven. Now let's finish off our very last thermo that I've kind of been pointedly ignoring up until now. Um, this is gonna be a four, and then I need an eight and a nine, because nine is the only digit bigger than eight. So that makes this a five and a nine, a five here, eight, nine, eight, and nine. Hello, darling. This is, this is my cat. Um, I think you probably saw him behind me earlier in the video. He's a very good boy. He's being very needy right now. So everybody say hello to Dexter in the comments. Anyways, pleasure solving with you today. Um, I will see you guys in the next one if you want to solve the puzzle yourself. The link is down below in the description along with the rules and a link to our archive. So I will see you next time. Have a good one.